when I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. Cold. Damn, I looked like an idiot, still holding the drinks I'd been paying for all night. Well, who cares? Yo, know, her loss. Hey, pop the clutch. Let's get on with it. Let's stop with the work seat today, bro. Hmm, let's see. Isabella Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. Gah. Do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we get a fancy condo on the east side with a view. Whoa. Isabella Angel whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against Reds movement? Hey, saw her on TV yesterday. Hmm. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap like you do. <laughs> what do you mean, conspiracy crap? Well, doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Mm. Right. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. What? Speaking of which, how about this first stop? I'd really like to check out the plumbing on that Isabella chick. Mm. Hello? Plumbers on patrol. Anybody home? Eh, whew. No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a trained surgeon here. There is one here! Freeze! Don't move! Remain calm, citizen! Whoa, hey, stay cool, man. I'm just a plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? Hey, she's not me. I will ask again. Where? Is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think, I mean, she's, look, she's not... Well, Isabella cannot be far from here. Bomb the place to pieces! I want to see a lawyer, buddy. What? You're not supposed to be here. You are in violation of oh. new code. Ah! It is fortunate that you found me. Quickly, this way. Please hurry. We must move on now. He won't trouble us anymore! Hurry! We mustn't linger here! More soldiers! Shoot them! those soldiers down there. We are not as well supplied as the enemy, so we'll have to improvise. Aim at the fuel barrels rather than the soldiers. Yet. It's us or them. 
What is the problem? We must act now. This will help the pain. Yo, that was close. I guess I owe you one, pal. What's our status? Okay, come with me, guys. I've got supplies that'll get us out of this mess. Grab a Molotov, let's show the Reds! Throw those babies! And he's out! No time to waste. They'll be back if we don't hurry. Open this manhole with your wrench. We can escape to safety below in the sewer. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces, Welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education program at our training facilities in Alaska. Meanwhile, I will make sure you get all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in your troubled country. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for years by the plight of the poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. Today we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from further hardship. And we will soon restore law and order in a new rule of government. And we expect and believe that every citizen will swear allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile and dealt with swiftly. Our great leader, Comrade General Tatarin, will be addressing the nation later. So on behalf of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future.